families of K through 12 students. This was day one of giving remote learning a shot. It's been an education for the schools on the other side too. Paula Tupman live with how it's going so far. Paula. Hi guys. Yeah, so remote learning hasn't exactly started yet. Obviously it's still in the process, but there's nothing normal going on here, whether you're an adult, but especially if you're a child, the Wendy's is closed. Kids aren't seeing their teachers and there's a desk being set up in the kitchen. This is not normal, but it is the new normal. This is what it looks like at the Harrison home in the Rochester Hills area today. Preparing for what's next, a sunny, chilly day and time for Parker to work on a new passion, photography. Today we might go on a walk on the pink street. Trail. But when does the schoolwork arrive? We're just waiting right now to hear from the schools to find out education wise what they're going to be doing. A disruption means something different when you are 12 than when you are 17. And a student figuring out college, friends, thinking about the prom, and figuring out self study. But there's nothing that's really structured in my day right now. Like I get up, I do my normal things. Um, I've been working on some of my homework that I know is coming up. Today, some students were already doing online studies with assignments from their teachers and plans to connect with classmates through Google Hangouts and other video technology. In the Rochester Community Schools District, students were given a schedule that was staggered to reduce physical and social contact so students could come, clean out their lockers, and pick up school supplies for the next who knows how long. So I know the students in Mrs. Painter's class are going to come to pick up those. We have our um, English as a Second Language program. The teacher has set out books for those students as well. And while the Rochester Community School District did get a jump on working out an online remote learning plan, it is complex. 600 students still need devices. 50 families still need home internet access. And the superintendent is asking parents to be flexible and understanding that structured online learning may not begin until Friday at the earliest or perhaps even into next week. It's absolutely a work in progress and we're collaborating with uh, with multiple districts across the county to make sure that we understand what each other's doing and making sure we're supporting kids in the po best possible way we can. Yeah, so I talked to a lot of education decision makers today and they all pretty much said the same thing. The reason there's not a cohesive one plan for all is because one size doesn't fit all. School districts are very, very different. They beg the forgiveness and the flexibility of parents while they work to get this enhanced remote learning online. It's still going to take a while, guys. Yeah. A lot to figure out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Paula, thanks. And